So I first got involved in November in 2014, when after many years of having mates write to me, inviting me to donate to their moustaches, I finally grew one myself. It was the first time I've ever grown a mow in my life, and it was a bit challenging, I've got to say. You know, people say, oh, you know, you're growing a mow, what's that all about? Well, it's for November, and then you're able to explain what November's about. It's the global foundation to help stop men dying too young. And so growing a mow was a great experience, but in 2015, early 2015, a very good mate of mine passed away from throat cancer, and that was Mick, and uh, it touched me very deeply, and I thought, well, look, you know, in 2015, I'm, I'm going to grow a mow again, but I wanted to do something more. And so I set myself the challenge of walking. I live in Switzerland, there's beautiful mountains there, so I set myself the challenge of walking from the lake uh, near Lake Lac Le Mans, where, which is near where I live, all the way to the top of a mountain up behind my house in the Jura Range, and it's called La Dole. Then in 2016, a very good friend of mine wrote to me to tell me that she'd got bad news, that the cancer that she'd fought and beaten, uh, the breast cancer that she'd fought and beaten, uh, was back as spine cancer. This was very bad news um, for me and, and obviously for her, and so I dedicated the walks to her. And so that night, she inspired me to write a small poem. I'm going to read that for you now because it really touched me and um, gave me a sense of my direction and my connection to that magnificent mountain and what I felt I needed to do to walk up there to help my friend battle with this terrible spine cancer that she'd contracted and all my friends and family who were suffering similar. So, tomorrow I meet the mountain and I will carry you deep in my heart all the way up and all the way down. It will be my privilege. You will not be a burden. Every step will be a prayer sent to the God of small things to keep you safe. So tomorrow I meet the mountain, ever more beautiful, radiant now in snow. She calls, bring her up, bring her to me, and I will. I will carry you there. It will be my privilege. You will not be a burden. Every step will be a prayer sent to the goddess of herbs, whose tears will heal you whole. So tomorrow I meet that beautiful mountain, cross, annoyed. Why you? Why now? Keep going. Just keep going and I will. I will carry you there. You will never be a burden. Haven't you always carried me? What are mates for, if not for that? Every step my prayer, whether any God listens, to keep you safe. So tomorrow I meet the mountain, up where the avalanches fell, like lover's grief, smashed, dashed, plunged into the abyss. Despair melted, calm now, in the warm embrace of love. And I will carry you there, honoured, thoughtful, every step my prayer, to the trees and animals, to Mother Nature, to keep you safe. So today I meet that mountain one last time, for you, for now. It's been such a long walk, but I'm not tired. Because you're not tired. Because you're not giving up. Because you're still smiling. Because you're still you. Because you're inspiring. We all meet mountains, and we must keep going. Carrying our pain, our joy, our fear, our love. It's life. So I will carry you, my friend, all the way up and all the way down. There is no burden, just you. Every step my prayer, that you will forever be safe. The essence of the walking experience for me was captured really beautifully in a question that a friend asked me. He said, what's the best part of walking up the mountain? And my first response was, well, it's great to get to the top, to be there with all of your friends and to celebrate having reached the top of the mountain. But then I thought about it and I realised that that wasn't it. What's really special about it is walking, physically pushing yourself, getting up that mountain, getting all the way back down again, carrying someone you love deep in your heart, all the way up and all the way down. That's the essence of the experience for me.